Sheikh Omar Abdullah vowing statehood resolution by cabinet. After sweeping Jammu and Kashmir, Omar Abdullah's big statement says best relation of statehood promised to us is what he essentially has indicated. All set, perhaps to be the next chief minister of the state, Omar Abdullah has made that important statement. हमारे हमारे और दिल्ली में फर्क है दिल्ली कभी रियासत रही नहीं दिल्ली को रियासत बनाने का वादा किसी ने किया नहीं हम एक रियासत थे 2019 से पहले जम्मू कश्मीर अपने आप में एक रियासत थी और हमें रियासत का दर्जा एक वादा दिया गया है वजीर आजम साहब ने दिया है गृह मंत्री साहब ने दिया है बीजेपी के अन्य जो सीनियर मिनिस्टर हैं उन्होंने बार बार कहा है कि जम्मू कश्मीर में ये तीन मतलब कदम लिए जाएंगे पहले डिलिमिटेशन फिर इलेक्शन फिर स्टेटहुड अब डिलिमिटेशन भी हो गया इलेक्शन भी हो गए अब स्टेटहुड रह गया है तो यहाँ हुकूमत बनते ही आ, मैं तो ये उम्मीद करूँगा कि कैबिनेट का पहला फैसला ये होगा कि वो एक रेजोल्यूशन कैबिनेट की तरफ से पास करें कि मरकज़ को अब जम्मू कश्मीर में रियासत का दर्जा देना चाहिए और वो रेजोल्यूशन ले कर साहब को पेश किया जाए अब मैं दो सीटों पर तो रह नहीं सकता काश रहने की इजाज़त होती मैं दोनों को पकड़ के रखता लेकिन इजाज़त नहीं है एक सीट को तो मुझे छोड़ना ही होगा वहाँ बाय इलेक्शन होगा अब आप मुझसे पूछेंगे कौन सा सीट और मैं सवाल का जवाब दे नहीं सकता साथियों से मशवरा करूँगा और मशवरा करने के बाद जब फैसला होगा मैं आपको सुना दूँगा ये ये चीज़ें जो है एक जमहूरी तरीके से होते हैं लेजिस्लेटिव लेजिस्लेटिव पार्टी की मीटिंग बुलाई जाएगी मैं कल ही पार्टी के सदर फारूक साहब से बात कर रहा था हमने ये तय किया है आने वाला कल लेजिस्लेटिव पार्टी की मीटिंग बुलाई जाएगी उसके बाद अलायंस की मीटिंग होगी अलायंस अपना लीडर तय करे उसके बाद राजभवन जाके हम हुकूमत बनाने का दावा करेंगे सिग्निफिकेंट स्टेटमेंट कमिंग इन फ्रॉम उमर अब्दुल्लाह in the state of jammu and kashmir also drawing comparisons with the national capital he said that delhi was never never in fact granted statehood but jammu and kashmir had it so it's in fact going back to what was the norm previously this is being promised to us by the prime minister and by the home minister is what he said categorically meer getting in more details meer i think this statement also speaks volumes of how umar abdullah is 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 you know conscious of the fact that whatever needs to be done to fulfill the promises towards uh, its people the people of jammu and kashmir this has to be done in cooperation with the central government isn't it and that's the reason why he said that this is a promise that was made and we are going to be working together to ensure that statehood comes back that's right sneha in fact this is uh, in fact the, mm. the the kind of mandate that national conference has got even uh, they themselves surprised because uh, they were expecting anywhere between 28 to 30 seats but they've got around 42 so that's that's massive and umar abdullah also understands that this uh, in 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 many ways is uh, the people uh, reposing their faith in the national conference and ensuring that there is no vote division and uh, that's why the responsibility of uh, national conference uh, is even more from here on at the same time umar also understands that if he has to have a successful government here he has to build a proper relation with the, the government of india with the center because at the end of the day uh, jammu kashmir is still a union territory and there has been a lot of debate about the powers of the chief minister uh, the power division the power sharing between the chief minister and the and the lieutenant governor so already he is uh, aware of this particular aspect and that's why he wants to start on a positive note clearly sending the signals to the government of india that he is ready to build a proper relationship and as uh, the ncn congress make a government uh, the moving forward he wants a cordial relation with the center with the bjp government so these are uh, positive signals as far as umar abdullah is concerned but then uh, he also understands the compulsion of this because uh, uh, as everyone is saying as experts say that this is not going to be a normal government as umar or uh, the nc was used to previously when it was a state this is a ut it's an absolutely different power structure where the lieutenant governor will have a more say uh, especially in critical matters like uh, security uh, law etc so all that uh, will go through the lieutenant governor and that's why it seems umar abdullah realizes that 
and uh, he also wants to uh, basically send the signal that uh, he wants uh, a cordial relation, a good uh, uh, governance model where uh, they, they, in fact, uh, the, the center will also support this, the, the UT government and uh, the governance will go well because uh, uh, the people uh, have uh, reposed their faith on the national conference and this is a huge responsibility. Uh, the NC understands that and probably uh, this statement is uh, in that particular context. All right, I'm going to Neha. thank you, Amir. Getting in up to speed with those details, getting us up to speed with those details as far as a statement on statehood is concerned. The hope is that it's going to be restored. That's what we've promised to the people of Jammu and Kashmir, says Umar Abdullah.